everyone, my name is Molly. Welcome to Natural Winos, a channel where we taste and explore natural wines. Today I thought we'd talk a little bit about wines I'd recommend for Valentine's Day. Fun, sparkly, pink. Uh, and we're also going to discuss Petilant, Petilant Natural or Petnance, um, which is, means only that everything happens in the bottle. So they make the wine and then before it's actually finished fermenting, they put it in the bottle and seal the bottle, often with a crown cap because it can withstand more pressure, but sometimes with a cork and the cage as well. In this case, they don't filter, so you'll see the sediment on the bottom of the bottle. And I always recommend that you kind of just stir that up a little bit, which will make it a little cloudy, but it gives it a little bit more acidity, sometimes a little bit more texture. It can also cause your wine to blow up a little bit when you open it up, so have your glass ready. They don't lose any of those precious drops of deliciousness. Both of these are Gamay's, so I thought that would be super fun for Valentine's Day. One has a little less skin contact, this one has a little bit more, and you'll see as we go, this one obviously is a little pinker, and this one's gonna be a little redder. Perfect Valentine's Day colors. And these both would go with anything that you're serving for Valentine's Day uh, at home, since you probably can't go out, and if you're going out, you can bring a bottle along with you, and it will go with anything. Number one. These are both from the Loire. This is Jusse, Exilé, Gamay. Let's cross our fingers. Whew! Yay! No blowing up. Ooh, right off the bat, it, I just smell like sparkling, like gassy kind of, yeasty. You can see the color is so pretty. Almost matches my hair. Ooh, raspberries, so raspberries. Wild strawberries, a little bit of cream. Pet nap tends to have lighter bubbles. They're not super, super aggressive bubbles like in Champagne because they haven't, haven't had any dosage. And it is, it's very light bubbles in my tongue. It's not like racing across my tongue like a champagne would do. Also something to note is that just because a bottle says pet nat doesn't mean, and uses the word natural, doesn't mean that it's actually made naturally. These obviously are because that's what I consume and, and I'm here to talk about with you. But you can get a pet nat made from a wine that isn't made naturally, so that has been used inoculated yeast, maybe wasn't even grown organically. So keep that in mind when you're out there. A lot of people come and ask me, Oh, I, I, I had this pet nap from, I won't name the winery, um, and, I, and I didn't know they made natural wine. And I think, oh, well, they don't. <laughs> so you can put bottle, wine in a bottle and seal it up and let it finish fermenting in there, and that is, the, that is what is pet nap. It doesn't mean that the wine itself was made naturally or even grown well. So keep that in mind. So, Exile, Gamay, delicious. Bright strawberries, bright raspberries, super red fruit, lots of vanilla, super yummy. I'm gonna dump this out because I haven't had lunch yet. And let's try the other one. Patrice Collin. This winery has been around um, for like since the 1700s. And they have always, I believe, grown well, grown organically and have been biodynamic and natural almost the entire time they've been um, around as well. Obviously, they didn't have additives and yeast back in the 1700s. That's a relatively new invention. So they were natural long before being natural was a thing, or we talked about it. That one, I think, was gonna maybe go over the top. So in a minute, you'll be able to see it's a little bit darker. It's a lot darker, actually. Um, super awesome bubbles. You can hear them. Can you hear them? <laughs> it's a little bit darker. It smells darker. It smells more like boysenberries, more huckleberry, blueberry, dark plum. Oh, it's so good. This one, I think you could even do with meat. This you could even do with like a steak. This one I might have with my salad, or fish, or pasta. It'll stand up to steak, but this one would be even better with steak. 
And it's fun. It's fun to drink sparkling red wine. Ooh, cranberries, boysenberries for sure. Wild mountain huckleberries like high up, high up like on a mountain. We're in Seattle, so sometimes I have to define what is a mountain. <laughs> People in Beaujolais say, oh, that's a, I, I'm, we're on the top of a mountain and I'm driving and I'm like, this is like Queen Anne. This isn't a mountain. This is like high alpine level huckleberries, like kind of tart, but that awesome blue fruit. So, so, so good. And the bubbles are there, but it's still a red wine. It's so, so delicious. Well, thanks for joining me today. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you out there. If you are enjoying any of the content, please do subscribe so you can keep up with anything new that's happening. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Cheers.